Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you my very best tips for how to achieve the most perfect, you know, makeup artist worthy eyeshadow for beginners. So if you're kind of new to makeup or you just don't think you're very good at your eyeshadow or you think you could be better at eyeshadow, or you just want to know kind of really in-depth artistry behind the basics of eyeshadow, then this video is for you. I've put so much planning and effort into this video, it's taken me all day to get ready and film. And I've tried to make it as short as possible whilst being as in-depth as possible. So I really hope you'll enjoy this video and pick up so many tips from it. Next week I'm also going to be uploading a super in-depth eyeshadow do's and don'ts video. So if you're not already subscribed, make sure to go down below underneath this video, click the subscribe button and also hit the little bell notification next to it so that way YouTube will hopefully notify you when that video goes live because I don't know what day I'm going to put it up just yet but it is going to be good so stay tuned for that. So we're going to kick this video off with brushes. I know us beauty gurus can make it seem like you need 10,000 million makeup brushes just to achieve a simple makeup look but it's honestly not the case. However, I would recommend that you do invest in just a few really good eye makeup brushes that'll do the job for you with a whole lot less effort. I have worked with Sigma on this video but if you watch any of my other YouTube videos you'll see that I exclusively use Sigma brushes. I don't use anything else. They're my favorite brushes. The reason for this is they are high quality, they last an absolute lifetime, they're vegan and cruelty free like me, and they come with a two year warranty. I can't think of any other brush brand that actually offers all that and a two year warranty. Like these are not fast fashion eyeshadow brushes, these are built to last. Unlike a lot of cheaper brush brands who use really cheap materials and their brushes fall apart and shed, Sigma brushes feature a double threaded interlocking for a rule system which means that you can wash them a thousand times, they're never going to shed and they're going to last you a lifetime. So my advice to you guys would be don't spend a fortune on makeup brushes, it's really not necessary but I would recommend you invest in just a few key brushes and if you invest in any makeup brushes let them be Sigma. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a little list of my favorite holy grail Sigma brushes for eyes in the description box down below and I do also have a 10% off discount code which I'll put down there with them as well so check that out but what I'm going to do now is just give you a really brief little run through of my favorite eyeshadow brushes the ones I think you really do need and the ones I'm also going to be using on my eyes in this tutorial. So the first one is the Sigma E25. If you watch my YouTube channel, you'll know this is my favorite brush in the entire world. It is the best all-rounder eyeshadow brush you can buy. You can not only apply shadow with this, but you can also turn the brush around and then you can blend with it as well. So a really good investment. The E35, this is just a brilliant all-rounder blending brush. It's super soft. It does the job. It'll last you forever. The E21, which is a really small, really dense detailing brush. The E55 flat brush, which is perfect for packing on color when you want like a real impact. And finally, the E30 brush. This is a pencil brush. These brushes are great all-rounder brushes, but they're especially good for detailed work for highlighting around the inner corners of the eyes and also underneath the lower lash line. I'll link all of those in the description box down below for you. Now let's start with the base. You need an even base. You need to give your eyeshadow something to stick to. And also behind the eyelids, there's loads of veins. Like there's loads of veins in the whole eye area and you don't really want them showing through your lid and kind of making your eyeshadow look a bit messy. Foundation, concealer, eyeshadow primers, anything will work really. But in today's video, I'm gonna be using the new Sigma eyeshadow base primer in the color Ignite. As you can see, this product is in a twist up pen and you can apply it directly to the lid. The color is just that little bit lighter than my skin tone, which will help my eyeshadow colors to really pop. If however, you have a darker skin tone, I think the shade Earthen will probably work for you. This one's a lot darker than Ignite. So there's two contrasting colors here. As you can see, I'm applying the pen directly to my eyelid and then going in with the Sigma P87 Edge Precision Concealer Brush to smooth the product onto my lid. The reason I'm using the Sigma Eyeshadow Base Primer as opposed to anything else is because it's great for beginners in that it increases the pigmentation of your eyeshadow, so no matter what the quality of your eyeshadows are, this will make them better. It will prevent your eyeshadow from smearing, creasing, or rubbing off, and it wears for a minimum of eight hours. They're only $15, and they're very versatile because you can wear these as the eyeshadow primer that they're made to be, but you can also wear them on the face as a highlight because there are shimmery shades, 
and you can wear them as cream eyeshadows. So very versatile, definitely good bang for your buck. Now for more advanced artists, you can leave the eye area tacky, but for beginners, I'd highly recommend that you powder the eye area after you apply your base. The reason being is because your eyeshadows will blend out a heck of a lot easier if you're blending them on a powdered base as opposed to an unpowdered base because an unpowdered base will remain kind of sticky, tacky, damp, wet, depending on what you use. And obviously then your eyeshadows are going to stick straight to that and it's going to make it really hard to blend out. So if you're a beginner, I highly recommend you powder your base first before going in with any eyeshadow. Also, if you have oily lids or mature lids or hooded eyes, this will also help prevent your eyeshadows from creasing or running if you don't use the Sigma eyeshadow base primer. Next, we're gonna talk about the main areas of the eye area. You've got the mobile lid, the crease, the socket, and the brow bone. The mobile lid is a portion of the eye that covers your eyeball and moves up and down when you open and close your eyes. The crease is a section of the eye that folds. Now this can be different on every single person. The socket is the bony part of your eye which you'll be able to feel if you gently press on your eyelid. And finally, the brow bone is the area of skin directly underneath your eyebrow. Another thing you'll want to know before starting to do eyeshadow is that there are loads of different eye shapes. And how you do your eyeshadow and your eyeshadow placement will depend on your eye shape. There are loads of different eye shapes, like I said, but in this video, I'm going to narrow it down to the two main eye shapes, which encompass a lot of different eye shapes within them. If you have a large mobile lid and high crease like Penelope Cruz or Natalie Imbruglia, you can focus your eyeshadow into your crease. If, however, you have hooded eyes, if you're a mature woman or you just have a small mobile lid, such as Jennifer Lawrence or Helen Mirren, for example, you'll want to concentrate your eyeshadow into the socket and not the crease. This will make your eyes look bigger and more open, whereas if you were to concentrate your eyeshadow into the crease with an eye shape like this, you'll end up making your eyes look smaller, darker, and a little bit beady, which we want to avoid when we're doing makeup. You want your eye makeup to flatter your eye shape, not detract from it. Now we are going to get into the eye makeup that I'm wearing here, but first I want to talk to you about eyeshadow terminology. If you watch any makeup tutorial, you'll probably hear these terms being thrown about. There's highlight shade, transition shade, accent color. The transition shade is usually a medium tone and that's going to help give your eyes some depth and contour them. The accent shade is usually a darker color. It can be anything from a black, a dark brown, a deep purple, a navy blue, whatever you want. It's just usually a dark color and this is used to elongate the eye, to give a cat eye effect, to make your eyes look bigger, to make your eyes look sexy, that kind of thing. Now the highlight shade can be matte or it can be shimmery. This is the shade that's gonna catch the light. So anything you put the highlight shade on top of is gonna pop and come forward and catch the eye. So you wanna be really selective with where you apply your highlight shade. With this shade, you'll usually only wanna apply it to the inner corners of the eyes, the brow bone and the mobile lid. Which leads me to my next point. Pretty much every eyeshadow look follows a basic theme and that is highlighting and contouring the eye. So we're gonna do a general eyeshadow application here and this is what I'm wearing on my eyes today which I think personally looks really good. It's simple once you get the hang of it but it's so effective and so flattering on pretty much every eye shape there is. So for a general eyeshadow application, what you'll wanna do is highlight the mobile lid. I'm going to be using the shade Skyline from the Sigma Nightlife eyeshadow palette and apply it to my mobile lid using the Sigma E55 flat brush to pack on that color. Next, you will want to deepen the crease or the socket, depending on your eye shape, with a medium shade, which is also known as the transition shade. I'm gonna be using the color Panache, which is a matte top on a Sigma E25 blending brush. As my eyes are slightly hooded, I'm going to apply the transition shade into my eye socket rather than the crease. Next, I'm gonna give my eyes a really sexy elongated cat eye effect by applying a deep accent shade. The color I'll be using for this is called After Hours and it's a deep matte brown. I'm applying this only to the outer corner of my eye using the Sigma E21 detailing brush. Because this brush is so small, it gives me complete control over how much depth of color I'm applying. Finally, I'm going to strategically highlight the areas of my eye that I want to really pop and come forward. For this, I'm taking another Sigma eyeshadow base primer, but this time in the shade Bubbly. Like I said at the start of the video, these can be used as cream eyeshadows all on their own. This shade is super pigmented, really bright, and very shimmery. Also, once it's set in place, that stuff does not 
move. You could probably wear this 24 hours and it will still be perfect the next day. I'm going to apply it to the eye area with a brush rather than directly onto my lid so that I have detailed control over the application. I'm applying the highlight shade to the inner corners of my eye which will make my eyes look bigger and more awake and the brow bone which will give the whole eye area a lifted effect. Now the last tip we're going to talk about in this video is the lower lash line. When it comes to the lower lid you want to balance it with your top eyelid but you don't want it to be too dark or too heavy because this will actually kind of drag down the whole look of your eye. A good rule of thumb is to use the same transition shade that you used on the top eyelid on the bottom eyelid, which in my case I used the shade Persuade, so I'm going to use that again, this time on a small eyeshadow brush. I'm going to use the Sigma E30 pencil brush to apply this directly to my lower lid. I'm going to keep the colour as close to my lower lashes as possible and just gently smooth that on. Now to soften the eyeshadow and make sure there are no harsh edges, I'm then going to go in with the Sigma E25 brush to blend. Next we're going to add our accent shade. Where we apply that depends completely on your eye shape. If you have eyes that kind of droop down at the outer corners, like me for example, or Anne Hathaway, you'll want to apply your accent shade onto the inner corner of the eyes, directly underneath your lower lash line. This will give the illusion of more angular cat eyes rather than droopy eyes, so it'll kind of just balance out the eye shape. If however you have eyes that angle up on the outer corners, like for example Bella Hadid, then you'll want to apply your accent shade to the outer corners and again this will then balance the eye shape. So there we go guys, that's all the information I have for you today, that's like the main things you'll want to know if you're a beginner in eyeshadow and I hope these tips are going to help you achieve absolutely beautiful perfect eyeshadow that really flatters your own individual eye shape. What I'm going to do is I'm going to link all the products that I've used in this video along with any discount codes that I have in the description box down below so that if you're looking for anything or you missed any products that I mentioned, you can find it all really easily down there. Stay tuned for next week when I have part two of this video, which is a super in-depth, full of tips, eyeshadow do's and don'ts video. Like I said, I don't know what day I'm going to actually upload it yet because there's other videos I want to put out as well. So make sure to subscribe underneath this video and click the notification bell next to it so that YouTube will notify you as soon as it goes live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much. And thank you so much as well to Sigma for supporting me and sponsoring this video. I love you so much as well. I'll plonk my social medias up here. I'm on Instagram every day. It's actually unhealthy. I should not be on it as much as I am. I'm going to love you and leave you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.